I'm interviewing you without having watched a single episode of Doctor Who. Oh, don't worry, I'm used to being interviewed by people who do that. Why do you think Doctor Who was successful? I mean, Doctor Who, well, why is it successful? Well, it's uh, partly because they, every now and again they change the actor playing the role. There have been 12, I think. 12 Doctors over the years, 50 years of Doctor Who. It's also a program that can go anywhere. It's about everything. It's also one of, they say that under the sun there are about five stories and that mankind's genius is to write those five stories differently all the time. But they're actually the five same stories. And one of the great stories under the sun is someone coming from outside the world down to our planet and helping us, you know, survive, fight evil and do good. Religions have been based on it and Doctor Who is the same story. And that's one of it. It's one of those attractive stories, one of the five that people love. Over years, as an actor, like, what, what's your relationship been like with the fans? I became Doctor Who 28 years, 28 years, I think. 1987. Yeah. Anyway, I became a Doctor, and I got the job on the Monday. I was in, flown from Britain to Atlanta on the Thursday, and I started meeting. Doctor Who fans, and I would just, you know, I took to it like a duck to water, as the producer said on that day, when I met them all. I love meeting the fans, it's great, it's just a joy, really. <laughs> and I also get to travel the world. Not a bad job. How, how are you reflecting on, on having acting as a means of ex expressing yourself and also as a means of uh, a vessel to, you know, pay bills? And The thing is about acting, for me, it is, um, it's, uh, I was an orphan. And I was an orphan. As a, as a child, normally, you, it's your right uh, to be given love and care, because that's, you know, that's the job of the parents. You're right. You don't have to demand it. It's there. Whereas, as an orphan, then you have to work for it, and that means that you have to, you know, smile a lot, become expressive, and that's a journey into acting, as far as I'm concerned because you become a bit of a show-off and, you know, you, you want people to notice you and so, uh, uh, you know, that starts the acting course. You don't have to go to drama school, just become an orphan. 